Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Supermarket Simulator. I, I had to I had to do at least one more in this recording session. I had to. I I just I don't know. I'm having fun. Like and I and I just want I just I just I just want to get stuff in my fridge. That's that's all I want. That's all I want. I I did all the setup. I think we're good. Open. Did all this? I did all the things, right? If we're good, I don't have to. Yeah, because I raised the price of oil. oil. Uh, um, but I, I'm running. Uh, I'm low on sucrose. It's fine. It's fine. Hello. I opened. Excuse me, sir. You. You look like uh, you. You might be suddenly added in as a young version of Alba's Dumbledore. Uh, I don't support. Uh, the story anymore, but um, you really do have the suit for it. And the glasses. At, at the very least, the suit. I don't, I didn't know how I felt about that casting choice, but that's, that's a difference. Take care, sir. Hello, Mr. Teleporter. You know, honestly, this dude looks the most realistic out of everybody I've seen. Alright, goodbye, Mr. Teleporter. Enjoy your bread. Secret agent, man. You're too old, not bald, to be uh, a particularly famous agent. But I, oh no, no, I, I don't, I don't need to. I, you gave me exact change. Good, good work, special agent. Um, you know, if you go to the left, there's a lady that. Oh, see, he, he's got it. He's figuring it out. There's, there's a lady that works for Raccoon City. You might want to investigate them. Hello, ma'am. That is a very plum suit. You can't be... Are you Mrs. Plum? Oh, I gotta give you ten cents. Uh, they haven't fixed your medical condition, have they? Oh, God, my poor my poor man. No way, huh? Oh. Uh, back. I give you $9.40. 25, 30, 40. Goodbye, sir. I hope they get you fixed. Just don't go to Raccoon City, uh, or, uh, um, Umbrella, Umbrella Corporation. Don't go to them to solve your problems. Hello, sir. Uh, did you finally get to see Bruce Wayne? No. Ma'am? Huh. You Mrs. Green, I take it? Alright, 465. Uh, 65. Ah, hello, Paul the intern. Is that you? Paul the intern. Something about you reminds me of the scientist from Jurassic Park. And it might be the eyebrows. It might be the eyebrows. Goodbye, Paul the intern. Good luck on your first day. Oh, no. He went in the direction of the Umbrella Corporation. Don't 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 worry about him. I'm sure he'll be fine. Goodbye, sir. That's a really weird looking horseshoe for hair. No, he went that way too. Oh no. You know, I hear you should uh, be keeping an eye out for a Miss Selena Kyle. Uh, let me let me know when you get. I'm I'm wearing a Batman shirt by the way <laughs> today, and it's uh, Batman and Selena Kyle kissing. Good old shirt. I remember when that comic came out and like everybody lost their complete and entire mind. Take care, ma'am. You look like a giant compared to that lady. Oh, nope, she realized she was going the wrong direction. Alright. Oh my god, I'm running out of pasta. Might need to order more pasta. Well, I'm sitting on some pasta. You are just a big fan of gluten, aren't you? Are you gluten maxing? I hear that people do that these days. I don't know what that means, really, besides just trying to put as much gluten in your diet as you can. And I don't think that's necessarily the best idea. Goodbye, sir. Ah, look, you are... You guys are psychic. I get that. Could you just let me... I don't know. Chuck my trash out into the street like a normal person? Why does your face remind me of Night of the Consumers? Goodbye, sir. 
You look like you're so done with today, and I don't blame you one bit, ma'am. <laughs> I remember there was one day, uh, I, had, I had a long day at work. And I decided to hit the grocery store, and then after the grocery store, get food. And my fiancé had texted me uh, what he wanted for food. And I was so tired. <laughs> like, just mentally drained. Not physically tired, but just mentally tired. That I just, I couldn't. Like, I, I had to just be like, look, I'm really sorry. I can't form coherent, proper sentences. So please, um, just make what's on my phone. I, I promise. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be real good about it. I, I, I swear, when they, when the employees looked at me, they must have thought I was so dumb. I'm like, look, I just, it was a long day, man. All right, um... Okay, I need bread. I need pasta. I don't need oil. I need sugar and flour. Purchase. I don't want to get anything new when it's getting late. I figure I'd get it. Excuse you, sir. Just give me a moment. Oh. That explains where all my sugar suddenly went. Take care, sir. Ooh. See, and that's a good looking suit color on him, too. It's nice to see he owns more than one type of suit. I'm not that person who owns more than one type of dress outfit. In fact, I ran into that issue recently at the funeral I went to. Uh, I only had, like, one dress that was for, like, funerals. And I just suddenly realized how it got much smaller on me over the years, but I didn't have an option, so I had to wear- oh my god, lady. Uh, but I suddenly realized that I need to buy another shirt, or another dress. And exact change, look at you go. Look at you go, I am proud of you, sir. Oh my god, I just ran through a lumberjack. Uh, okay, put the flower out. Oh my god, there's people. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. Oh, good. I still have some left over. You only wanted flour, huh? That was the that was the one thing you came here for, was flour. You don't need anything else to go... Not $295. Jesus Christ, no. Hello, ma'am. A lot of people getting some la last minute shopping done. I see. I got you. I think you're wearing a very... Nope. Nope. That that looks like a robe. Oh, no. It's a cardigan. Oh, that makes sense. So why, is, why does she wear a robe and pants to the groceries? I mean, I get it. Like, I, I, yeah, Sometimes y'all are lucky if I show up to the grocery store wearing pants. No, I actually do. But like, that's, that's the sentiment is like, man, I put... Put on pants for this. Really annoyed me once. My fiance was like, Yeah, uh, we're gonna go. Oh, I close this. Um, we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. And I was like, Okay, cool. And I like got ready and I, I put on real pants and I, I got ready to do things. And then, you know, we took out the trash and then he was like, You know what? Never mind. And I was like, Man, I. This is the greatest betrayal. I I put on pants for you. I can can you not understand the level of disrespect? Pants. I put on real pants, not pajama pants. Real pants. Hey, I made two hundred bucks back. It should be enough. Ooh, and flour went up. Yay. That should be enough. Oh, thank God. Uh, three thirty-five. No, we're gonna go 340. I like being under, but not like crazy amounts under. All right, let's go ahead and, and get, I guess, the license. I'll pay my bills later. Um, okay. So we can go ahead and get this product license. And then now we go back and I can, because I already have the other stuff that I already needed. I need bottled water. Eggs, cheese, milk, 
tea. Can I afford the dark roast? I can't afford the dark roast. But I can get everything else. And everything's falling over. It's fine. Alright, um... I guess we'll put the tea up here. I'll put the dark roast next to it whenever I get that. At some point. Okay, we got milk. Um, okay, okay. Eggs, milk, or eggs, cheese, milk. And then one more beneath it. And then I'll have the last one be bottled water. Cheese. Comte cheese. Good, good, good. Look at me go. I finally got my product license. I'm so proud of me. Oh, no. I, I This is empty. This is an empty box, right? That's an empty box? Yeah, that's an empty box. And then bottled water. Look at the product shelves getting all full. Man, look at me go. Um, let's just place that there. I got more Choco Pick. Good for me. Both? Oh, I was going to say both displays are full? Because one looks... Look at that suit. You can see that suit from a mile away. I would never be able to clean that suit that good. Man, what does that guy's dry cleaning bill got to look like? Right? Uh, Alright. Properly place the thing now. Instead of just chucking boxes into the ether. I'm a little low on flour, but flour just went up, so maybe it's not going to fly off the shelves like that. Alright. Um, I'm going to prepare in advance to buy flour, but I'm not going to... No, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the flour. I was trying to save up a little bit of money to be able to get the dark roast. Like, pretty instantaneously, but... I should probably just buy flour. Alright, we got to set prices. So, this one... 5.55? I like all those fives. Fives look like good numbers. I went to get gas earlier today, and my total on my gas ended up being $33.33 and I was so pleased with the numericalness of it that I did not care that that was way a lot of money for gas. Um, no, 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 not five. We want two twenty-five. Nah, yeah, two twenty-five. Um, this one, we're going to make it two fifty. 250 even. I think that's the... I think, yeah. I'm going to get ready with putting this in the cart and then we'll, 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 we'll do things. All right. I am open, everyone. Welcome to my store. The only thing I'm missing is dark roast coffee, but who really needs coffee? Right? Excuse me, ma'am. Would you you look like you could use a nice thing of tea, right? A nice container of tea. Uh, I don't know what flavor it is. I assume it's black tea, but quite frankly, I love a good jasmine tea. Don't you? No, I have annoyed you too much that you are just going to completely walk away from me. I see. You know what? That's fair. I I own up to that. Hello, sir. Uh, you look like you could use a gallon of milk. What do you say? Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You got some bread? Okay. All right. A lot of sugar. <gasps> is he getting to get the milk? Wait, is he actually getting the milk? I think he got cheese. <laughs> oh, he didn't get milk. I was like, that would have been way too perfect. Now nah, he got cheese. That's okay. All right. So 27.45. Goodbye, sir. I hope you come back for milk later. This guy got some water. I like where he's at. Oh. Did he suddenly realize he had eggs after he got the bread? Oh, he's going to make eggy in the basket. Man, I love a good eggy in the basket. 
I can't really eat it that often because my body does not behave well when I eat eggs. Like, at all. But, egg in the basket is just like toast with an egg in it. So I realized part of what I really like is the, the toast. So I'm trying to just make toast that way. But with like more oil or something. With more, not oil, but... Kind of butter. I don't know. I try preheating the bread a little bit in advance, and then I do butter later so I don't burn the butter. But, oh, man, it's good. And then I... I oh, hello. This gentleman purchased some milk. He knows what's going on. Hello, sir. I knew a gentleman in that kind of a suit could only be getting the highest quality. Uh, let me out of this thing. All right. Before someone asks me about this freaking coffee... God, this is going to be expensive. Uh, hold on, just give me a second. I need to set a price. Uh, oh, God. All right, so we're going to go with 1035. Uh, hello, ma'am. You better not say anything about not having any coffee, because I have it. I just want you to know. Ooh, okay. Five bucks even on some water. I like it. This man knows a good cup of tea when he sees it. There we go. We got this. Yeah. Bro, I would... Maybe that's what I'll make after I'm done recording. I'll just make myself a good old cup of jasmine tea. You know, most people think that they don't like jasmine tea because they think it's bitter. And what that means is you're making your jasmine tea wrong. You're not supposed to bring the water to a full boil. Uh, when you're making jasmine tea, you're just supposed to get it to like just before boiling. Yeah, where is that? There we go. Yeah, you're supposed to get it to just before boiling, and then uh, the s the seep time cannot be more than two minutes. So those people that throw like just throw the tea bag in and then they let it sit there until they're done drinking it. No, no, no. Jasmine tea is not for you can personally assure you on that one. But yeah, you don't let it sit for more than two minutes at all, and you don't bring your water to a boil. And that's it. That is the secret to making a good cup of jasmine tea. And then you'll get uh, like a nice aromatic tea. That's part of why um, that's part of why I think it got used for Avatar The Last Airbender. A lot of people associate Uncle Iroh with jasmine tea, but he's always recommending the tea to Zuko. So Zuko's favorite tea is jasmine. Because uh, Uncle Iroh says in the, the Agni Kai with um, Admiral Zhao, before he becomes Admiral, that his favorite tea is ginseng, which is a pretty calming tea. But Zuko, he's always recommending to drink jasmine tea, which if you think about it, jasmine tea... Oh, hello with the nice black tie event here. Uh, but if you think about the, the tea, you can't let it steep too long and you can't let it boil. That seems like that'd be pretty indicative of Zuko and his personality. Like that it's temperamental. And also, you know, not, not boiling. Excuse me, ma'am. I just need to thank you. Man, tea is flying off the shelves lately. People get it. People get it. That also means that the thing that we most associate Uncle Iroh with is jasmine tea, or his shop, the Jasmine Dragon, which he named after his nephew's favorite tea. So the thing that we most associate Uncle Iroh with is his love for his nephew. And I think that's really sweet. Good to see that you came back. You still didn't get any milk, I see. It's okay. Like, I don't... I don't... I don't know any of your guys' names, and that's okay, right? Hello? Why do you remind me of Wolverine? Not Hugh Jackman, but, like, the, the comic character in general. Is it, is it the slick back hair and the beard? Maybe it's the beard. Oh my god. We're in the Matrix. This is Hugo Weaving standing right in front of me. He's buying two coffees? Oh, and they look incredibly similar. The same exact 
look on those ba oh my god he's broken the matrix purposely and then walked out of my store casually goodbye sir and at least he didn't go in the direction of the umbrella corporation um i no i don't know what you look like it was it, maybe it was the passing glance of the the wolverine thing i don't know maybe not maybe i wasn't thinking of wolverine maybe i was thinking of um Oh god, what's his name? Wolverine's uh arch enemy. It it's another animal named Oh my god, this is gonna kill me. My father's gonna completely disown me. I should know better than this. I can picture him. I know what I know what he looks like in a comic book. He's mostly like brown like and extra hairy and a lot more teeth. Oh, this is gonna kill me. My dad's going to be so disappointed to learn that I couldn't remember. I can picture him. Over and over. I can, oh, my God. None of you guys were any help. None of them. This is going to bother me. It's going to bother me so bad. It's going to bother me way too bad. By the time that I'm editing this video, you'll have seen it. Oh, I'm out of cheese. All right, let's go ahead and close her up. I want to get prepared, though, for tomorrow. So I definitely need cheese. I'm going to need... Oh, God, I'm going to need everything. Definitely the dark roast. Oh, God. All right, so... I don't know why it just suddenly acknowledges that, but all right, it's the dark roast. We got cheese. Oil. Bread, flour, sugar, some choco pick. I'm just gonna get ready for. I'm at max. I think the only thing I'm missing is the eggs, right? Cheese, dark roast, olive oil, bread, flour, powdered sugar, cereal, bottled, bo bottled water, milk. Yeah, I think the only thing I'm missing. Oh, I, I'm, I'm missing pasta, I think. I don't know. I'll check again tomorrow. All right. Enter and end the day. God, I lost money. It's fine. Okay, bottled water went down, but pasta and choco pick went up. All right. So we could probably do 275. And... Oh, Choco Pick went up a lot more. I wish I could have ordered it yesterday. Um, 7.30. And then bottled water went down. We're going to make it $2 even. That seems right. Alright. Well, I guess I'll put out what I got and then I'll take a look again to see what else I need. Okay, oleo. That's full, but this isn't. Perfect. Uh, what are you? You're my tea. Okay. Perfect. I'd rather have a little extra, to be honest with you, because it's not like I'm not going to be using the stock. And at least if I even run out of money, then I'm still fine. People really do like the up high shelf a lot better, don't they? Nailed it. Uh, we got milk. Okay. I hope no one's going to mind that I just leave this sitting out in the room temperature. Doesn't spoil or anything. That's the only one that fits there. I didn't really need water, but... I figure with water decreasing in price, that means that it's going to fly off the shelves. Perfect. Look at that. I want to know who's driving that fancy car. It's got to be that Mr. El Presidente, man. Put this away. Alright, so that's all good. 
Yeah, nobody mind as I just have stock laying around all over the place. Uh, sucrose. Look at us go. Cheese. Maybe I need to buy more cheese. Feels like cheese goes off the shelves like it's nobody's business. And then we got the black coffee. All right, and I have extra, so I don't have to order that again immediately. Um, I definitely need pot. Uh, I definitely need pasta, and I need eggs. And I think getting a little bit more sucrose couldn't hurt. So pasta, eggs. Sucrose. Oh, I have just a hundred dollars left. Why am I always living so dangerously close to the edge of death? Because I am constantly like 12 seconds away from completely going bankrupt. Look at us go. No one's gonna care. I'm just putting these eggs right here on the floor, right? No. No, I think we're good. Look at how this all turned out. Look at us go. We're well prepared. I mean, I still have some empty shelves, but who cares? I think I'm very well prepared. Because realistically, I could put bottled waters on these shelves, but I know that they want me to have them refrigerated. But look at us go. We did so good. Look at my little shop. I, well... I'm I'm less proud of all the boxes everywhere. But but look at my little shop. Look at us. Uh hold on, let me wanna There we go, because I think this will be a good thumbnail. Get rid of that part about purchasing a fridge or something like that, right? Even better. So that's all the time that we've got for this episode. I I might do more. I, I wanted to at least get to the point where I had a fridge. And I, I wanted to restock everything. So that this way, if I decide to do more in the future, then I'll just play more. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should I keep doing this? Is it actually irritating to watch me play this? Do I actually lose my mind enough to be a proper person that streams Supermarket Simulator? I don't know. But I'm sure you guys do. So tell me in the comments. And I don't I what was I all of my you know what? I'm just gonna do this. This is how I'll end the episode. Look at this. You see this? This is a box of water. It's a big box of water. Go drink some water. You probably need it. Even 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 now I'm now I'm thirsty. Even if you weren't sure the last time that you drank water, drink some water. And take care everybody. Ooh. How do I get out of the episode?